Hi everybody, okay and welcome and today we have a very special surprise and treat for you. We are actually here in lovely Fu'an, Fujian and we are embarking on Taiyang Village and Taiyang Village is the original birthplace of Taiyang Gong Fu Tea and we're here at the gates and we're going to take you on a little journey and show you the original Taiyang Gong Fu Village. just wanted to give you a very quick peek of the Jen Wu Bridge. And for those of you that have visited our website, when you come to our black tea section, uh, you'll notice this bridge uh, on our website. And originally this bridge was completely made of wood. And what you will notice is they actually in Chinese say that refer to this as sort of a centipede bridge. And we just wanted to give you a very quick peek up here in wonderful Taiyang village. And let me tell you, it is just fantastic. Welcome to beautiful Taiyang village. And we're just gonna give you a quick sneak peek here. We are on our way to the Hung building, but we wanted to give you an opportunity to look at the fabulous historical things that you can see here in Taiyang village. And if you look, this village dates back to the Qing dynasty. And it's just incredible, the brickwork um, and the craftsmanship that went in here. And we just had to stop and give you a quick peek on the way to the Hung building. This is the original home of Mr. Shi, who was one of the two men responsible for Taiyang Gong Fu Tea. And we just wanted to give you a look at the original home of Mr. Shi on the way to see the Hung building. Hi everybody, okay, welcome. And we have something really special for you. We are in the Hung building, which was built by Shi Guangling himself. And this was the original tea shop where Taiyang Gong Fu Tea was made. Now we're going to see two locations. There were two people who were uh, originally responsible for the original production of Taiyang Gong Fu. The first was Mr. Shi and the other was Mr. Fu. So we just wanted to give you a very quick peek of the Hung building here in Taiyang village and it is spectacular. See you soon. We just wanted to give you a little bit of a peek of some of the alleyways here in Taiyang village. And it is just, again, spectacular and breathtaking. And it's just like being in a time warp and going back uh, to a, 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 long, a very long time ago uh, in Chinese history, an important part of history here in Chinese tea culture, which is Taiyang Gong Fu. So we have one more stop to go to where we're gonna see the second gentleman's residence and ancestral hall that we talked about who contributed to Taiyang Gong Fu. And before we do, we just wanna thank our hosts here at Da Xing Wang and the Fujian Xing Wang Company for giving us this wonderful experience here in Taiyang Village. So we have one more stop to go, let's go. Remember earlier we talked about two gentlemen being responsible for Taiyang Gong Fu Tea? We are here at the Great Ancestral Hall, which dates back to the eighth year of the Qing Dynasty. And this is a culturally very significant building representing Taiyang Village. And if you look back over here to our right, this is also the original home of the Hu family. And it's just spectacular here. It's like being in a time warp and going back hundreds and hundreds of years. So we just wanted to give you a sneak peek of the great ancestral hall. And uh, it's absolutely wonderful. And um, we've really enjoyed our time here in Taiyang Village. And we want to thank everyone who uh, is watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and our time here as much as we have. Thank you so much. Hey, Dajia Hao. Welcome everybody to our celestial tea garden here in Rongping Village in beautiful Fu'an Fujian. And we have a very special treat for you today. We are in the Dashing Wang 
tea gardens here in Fu An Fujian. And let me tell you that this is an ecological paradise. The birds are singing, uh, there's uh, wildlife everywhere, and this is something uh, almost heavenly. It's just wonderful. The air up here is fantastic. And today we are going to talk to you about Taiyang Gong Fu Black Tea. To tell you a little bit about Dashing Wang, the company, uh, Master Wang, who is the owner of Dashing Wang, is uh, traditionally local people from this area, from Fu An Fujian. And he has almost more than 30 years tea making experience in making black tea and they've afforded us this beautiful opportunity to come into their tea garden and talk to you a little bit about how they make Taiyang Gong Fu black tea and we're going to talk to you about the different steps today of manufacturing that tea and why Taiyang Gong Fu is our tea of choice at Four Seasons Tea. So we're talking just a little bit about the tea manufacturing process here at Dashing Wang. And our first step in the production process is the, is the actual picking of the leaves. And the picking process here uh, at Dashing Wang is essentially like this. It consists of one tip or one bud and two leaves. And uh, it's very important uh, when you're taking the tea leaf not to damage the stem. But this is the first step in the manufacturing process and we're going to take you through many many more in showing you the manufacture of Taiyang Gong Fu. We are here inside the Fujian Xingwang workshop where the rough tea or mao cha for making Taiyang Gong Fu black tea actually is made and now we're not actually in production at the moment. The Xin Cha or the new tea has already been made for this year, but we are going to still continue and show you the steps of manufacture for Taiyang Gong Fu. So after we've already shown you in the mountain, the picking of the tea, after that tea is picked, we we'll return here to the workshop where basically we put the tea onto our bamboo sieve. So basically all the tea will be laid out onto our bamboo here, and then it's basically put here to rest and basically this resting period um, has two parts the tea here will actually uh, wither and rest this uh, step is called Wei Diao in Chinese and the tea will wither uh, a little bit overnight on these bamboo sieves at which point in the morning somewhere depending on the temperature between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. if the weather is ideal we then take the tea and then we put it outside for another withering period and after that's done, we move on to our next step. Okay, so we are now talking about our third step of manufacture in the Taiyang Gong Fu tea manufacturing process. We've already talked about the first two steps. We were up on the mountain, which was Tai Ching. We were picking the tea leaf. We've also talked about the second step, the withering step, which we call Wei Diao. And now we're going to talk about the third step. And this is a very, very important step. We call this step Rou Nian. And what Ronian is, is it's shaping and forming the tea leaves. But what's very interesting about this, when we're making black tea, this Ronian or rolling and shaping of the tea leaves will actually kind of damage the cell wall of the tea leaf. And basically what that does is gently opens that up to allow the essential oil then to come out onto the leaf. At which point then, when the tea is ready, it moves on to the next step. But to tell you a little bit about these rolling machines is what's very interesting is even though it looks very heavy, when they put the tea in, it actually will not damage the tea leaf in any way. And a machine like this can actually do around um, about four kilos of tea at one time. And when we're putting the tea in, we'll then roll the leaves for about a time period of two hours. And when the tea master decides that the tea is ready to go, we move on to our next step, which we're gonna talk about, which is the oxidation period. So we've already talked about our first three steps, which is the picking of the tea, the withering of the tea, and then the rolling of the tea leaves. So after those three steps are done, we then come here to what is the oxidation room. In Chinese, we call this step fa jiao, but basically what we are doing here is we are going to first create a stable environment. So basically if we take a look inside, 
what we are going to do is we are going to get about, ideally for the tea master, what they are looking about is 50% humidity and about 25 degrees temperature. Now there are certain tricks to control the environment, like we have certain machines here as well, which can also keep uh, the humidity at a certain level, but there are other things that if the temperature is quite not enough, we can also use some what we call mutan or charcoal to help keep the temperature stable in here. So basically what happens in the uh, oxidation room is about every half hour the tea master will come in, they'll smell the tea, they'll check the tea, and when they deem that the tea is ready, they will then take the tea from here and move on to our next step. So now we are into our finishing steps. And our last step is a two-part step, which we call Honggan, which is also our drying stage. Now, what this machine does is essentially is the application of heat, which is gonna prevent our tea leaves from actually oxidizing any further. And basically what the tea master will do is put the tea into the top part of this machine and then move it down six steps, which is like six different stages of drying. And we're very lucky because we're gonna get an introduction of how this step is done. Okay, we are here with Fang Shifu and he is going to demonstrate for us how to use this machine. So Fang Shifu, you can give us a little bit of this machine. Okay, we're going to use the so as we said with this Honggan machine, the tea moves down the different levels and then that sucks up the second step of our final drying process. Now we are into our final step. So to review the steps of how Taiyang Gong Fu tea is made, we have our picking, which is Tsai Qing, we have our withering, which is Wei Diao, we have our rolling, which is Ronian, we have our oxidation, which is Fa Xiao, and then we move to our first step, which is Honggan, which is the heating, and then we have our second part of Honggan, which is really creating the aroma here. And basically what happens is the tea leaves are put onto the sieves, and basically this final application of heat is really creating the aroma of our Taiyang Gong Fu black tea. And this step is done for about two hours to create the final step in the production of our Mao Cha. So basically after this step is complete, we have our Mao Cha or rough tea, which then is taken to another facility to basically complete its sorting, grading and cleaning and final packaging. So thanks for joining us from the Da Xingwang, Fujian Xingwang Company workshop. We hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have. We'll see you soon. Hi everybody, okay, and welcome back to our day two of processing here at the Da Xingwang uh, Tea Workshop. Yesterday we talked about the steps of production for producing our raw tea or mao cha, and we talked about that that tea was then brought to a secondary facility. Well, we're very lucky today because we are in the secondary processing facility. And although yesterday we weren't actually uh, producing any tea, um, today we are very lucky because at Dashing Wang they are producing some green tea. And all of the steps to finish the tea for our Taiyang Gong Fu Hong Cha are the same as finishing the green tea. So we actually get to see these men in these machines in action today. So basically the raw tea or the Mao Cha is brought here and the first step, the Mao Cha or rough tea is put into this machine. And basically what this machine does is separate the tea leaves from long and short. And what's really interesting is that you can see building up on the tea machine is this kind of fur from the tea leaves. And only high quality tea produces this kind of 
fur from the tea leaves. If we were producing our Taiyang Gong Fu Hong Cha or black tea, this would be a reddish color. And it's absolutely wonderful to be here today. Let's see you at the next or second step. Now we're into our second sorting step, which is separating the leaves according to size. And basically what happens is the tea, the tea goes in here, basically comes up and down, at which point the tea leaves are sorted depending on size. And on this step, we have one, two, three, four, five different sizes. And the tea is separated according from small to large, larger, larger, and largest, five different sizes. We are in our third stage of finishing our Tan Yang Gong Fu Hong Cha. And basically what's happening here is we have put our tea leaves into this machine. The tea leaves then go up and through this machine. And what we're doing is we are separating the impurities from the tea leaf. So basically what you can see, we have um, basically five containers over here or five baskets. And what happens is everything from the fur and uh, things that are not used in the tea come out in these three bins. And basically what comes out here is the clean and polished tea, as you can see right here. What's coming out here is tea that could again go through this machine to uh, remove any impurities from the tea and when it's properly finished it comes out here and is ready for the last step. We are now in our final step of finishing our Taiyang Gong Fu Hong Cha and basically we've already talked about the first three steps which was sorting, grading and cleaning and now we're in our last step and this is a Japanese machine and what this does is this actually removes the stem from the tea leaf. So what happens is, is the tea goes in over there and basically works its way through the machine and the final tea that is finished comes out into the first basket. What comes out into the second basket is tea that could again go through the machine for a further cleaning. Now that, basically when that step is done and we've got our finished tea, our finished Mao Cha would then go over here into these bags into a final packing stage. So we want to thank everybody here at Dashing Wang for our time and allowing us into their workshop to see how they make Taiyang Gong Fu Hong Cha. We hope you have enjoyed this as much as we have. Hi everybody, okay, and welcome back. And we are very, very lucky that we have time to be here with Mr. Wang. And Mr. Wang is the head tea master here and owner at Dashing Wang in beautiful Fu'an, Fujian. And Mr. Wang has more than 30 years experience of making tea and especially Taiyang Gong Fu black tea, Taiyang Gong Fu Hong Cha. And we just want to ask uh, Mr. Wang uh, a quick question. And, and Wang Shifu, Dashing um, the awards that Dashing Wang has won, they have numerous awards. Uh, last year they were the winner in the, in the Dou Cha competition for doing black tea and, and they've got numerous awards um, and such a wonderful and illustrious history here uh, in Fu'an and Taiyang village and uh, we just want to thank, uh, thank everybody, Mr. Wang, for your time today. Wang Shifu Thank you so much.